Good morning, y'all. It's Andrea here at VW Family Farm. If you're still with us, you have made it to Thursday. We are taking you guys around. We told you this on Monday, and then I've actually forgot to say it the past couple videos. But we are taking you around and letting you experience a week in the life of VW Family Farm. So uh, this day, Thursday, I usually feel like, okay, I'm actually gonna make it because up to this point, I've been running crazy, uh, trying to get everything done and caught up. And by this point in the week, I just have a few things left and I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. And now you can see I've just come outside and it is gonna rain. But before I can start this vlog, I have to show you yesterday evening, we cleaned up this front garden. I showed you we were doing that. I have to show you the transformation. It is pretty amazing. So look at this row of cabbages. We actually wound up just weed eating it because it had gotten so bad under the row cover, but it actually grew some beautiful cabbages under there. Uh, and then last week we had got out here and cleaned up under that row cover where the broccoli and cauliflower is. It just looks so much better. We cleaned up where the beans had grown up. These over here are black beans that we're waiting to get done and then we'll clean that up as well. Start replanting for fall. But you can see it grew some pretty good cabbages under there. So we've got a couple of objectives out here this morning. We need to feed the animals and we need to pick the garden. The kids are on their way to go check the cows and feed the cluck wagon back there. We're gonna try to do all this before we get stormed on. You can see they're getting ready to go, getting feed together, all that stuff. I'm gonna be feeding up here and picking the garden. And then we got some stuff to do inside. Okay, so again, while we're back here checking cows, we gotta do these cluck wagon chickens. So we actually moved the cows today, so all we got left is to make sure none were left behind and we got to move their minerals. So we have a really exciting trip tomorrow. With all that's going on, we've stayed home a lot lately and not gotten out. And then tomorrow we actually have somewhere to go. I'm so excited. And we're going to take you guys along. Uh, it's to another homestead family, uh, YouTube family. And so if you haven't heard of them, by after tomorrow, you will. Uh, I figure you will though, if they're a bigger channel than us. And I'm just really excited to meet them and to just get out and take a good road trip. So we gotta wrap things up here today in preparation for being gone all day tomorrow. So we gotta get busy. get up and go somewhere the next day I try to do as much as possible the day before 
moving chickens, filling waters that I know don't have to be done every day. I try to do all that the day before. Get the chickens on fresh grass. Just leave everybody in good shape and to where we can just get up the next morning, do the minimal chores and hit the road. Look at Miracle Sweet Baby. Sweet baby! Hey, what you doing down there? Just hanging out. Look how the ducks have already dirtied their water. And we can give them other waters, but they insist on drinking out of this pond. I'm gonna go feed the chickens and just let y'all enjoy these little ducks for a second. another awesome thing for today up to this point this week uh, Monday Tuesday and Wednesday I was having to film this day in the life vlog and another video so two videos a day and get those took care of today we start editing the first day in the life vlog so you guys can see it on a Monday a week after it was shot uh, we try to stay two days ahead on our videos for editing and just in case stuff goes wrong we can keep videos coming out for you guys um, it just helps us not be so crazy and rushed. But two videos a day, it was getting to be a little much. Look at these cute things. Can you count them all? There should be nine. I'm gonna bet there's one laid over in the trough over there. And you may be wondering what that white sack is. It's plug plugging a hole. It's just, you gotta do what you gotta do. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I like that one. Six, seven, eight. So where's nine? And I was correct. We have one that always likes to lay up in the trough. Hey, baby cakes. What y'all doing? What y'all doing? You wanna be on camera too? Oh, you're so pretty. Oh, yes, you are. I love y'all. All right, I just realized I told a piglet I loved it on camera, but the truth is I tell all our animals I love them. I do love them. I tell my milk cows I love them almost every time I milk them, uh, unless they're being ornery that day. No, I'm kidding. I do, I don't know why I do that. I just, I tell all the animals I say, I love you. Um, that saying about one bad day on the farm, you want every other day of their life to be great and awesome. That is so, 100% true, my motto. Like, I try to take such good care of these animals um, every day of their life. Even if they're animals we're raising for meat, I just, I can't help it. I just want them to know they're loved. And I know that is probably so totally weird to some of you, but I'm okay with it. First couple days, these boys wouldn't even come to feed. We had tried to push them up here and they wouldn't come. But they're getting the hang of it. Those two black ones are the two standouts. Everyone else is pretty much coming running. Do y'all count how many of these there are? Nine, that's right. They got some flies too. I'm gonna have to do something about that. So here's the deal. There's nine steers in a fairly small pasture. 
and you can see right out there it's july and we're having to put out hay so that is just that's a risk you're taking if you overstock your pastures that your grass can't keep up with um, you can see our grass is fairly short out there i've seen much shorter but uh, it's getting pretty low and so we are feeding these some because over half of them were just weaned off their mama and they have to learn to eat and fend for themselves without milk so they will get fed for a bit um, and then we can turn them out onto uh, grass like lusher pastures and things and rotate them around a little bit but to begin with they need a good start they need some feed they're not used to doing it all on their own but i just wanted to show you all this that here it is it's july and we got hay out and we're having to feed that's because there's too many animals in this pasture which for us is not permanent but if you do that on your homestead and don't have other pastures to turn them out into it will be and then that hay gets very expensive um so that might be a choice you're willing to make but it's something you need to know ahead of time that could be a possibility. Ain't that right? Huh? And somehow this dude is missing part of his ear. And it's an old wound. It's already healed up. It happened out with the cows. What's up, dude? What happened? Don't slow him down, though. Okay, so today is actually cleaning day. Um, we actually clean once a week. Me and Lane clean our own rooms um, because that's just what we've always done. It helps us keep it straighter. So we basically just vacuum, straighten up anything we need to, clean our bathrooms, and that's basically it. So we made it back inside minimally soaked, not totally. Got some broccoli and cauliflower. I need to do something with all these peppers. I got a stray squash in there, a bunch of cucumbers, more peppers, green beans, bunch of tomatoes. So now I need to do something with all this since we're gonna be gone tomorrow. Um, I'd really like to have a couple days off from picking and canning and preserving and all that. So I'm gonna try to fly in here, get a lot of this stuff done. Probably gonna can the tomatoes um just as canned tomatoes we use a lot of those in the winter for soups and chilies and uh, just all kinds of stuff so that's what i'm gonna do with the tomatoes probably make some pickles um and then i gotta get to cleaning and my last workout of the week so lots left to do it is now like one o'clock um so we're in high gear this is the time we go we get stuff accomplished before ben gets home um, somebody's got to edit and do comments so I'm gonna get the kids busy on that and I'm getting to canning so I wash all my dishes by hand so before I can even start I got to take care of this mound of clean dishes and get them out of my way all right back to clean now I can start all right guys this thing right here is invaluable I found this at a yard sale it had a lot of other attachments to it uh, this one is aluminum which I do not like aluminum cookware but all I'm doing in this is blanching tomatoes I'm gonna fill it up heat the water up and I'm gonna dip them down in there for 30 seconds anywhere from there to a minute or two um, usually I don't go any longer than is necessary usually about 30 seconds because i don't want the tomatoes too hot to handle all this is going to do is blanch them and um, help me get the skins off real real easy so if you find one of these snatch it up all right so i've got over half a bushel to can i've got them washed up waiting on the water to heat up and emily literally what did you just ask me <laughs> we got any tomatoes she said, Mom, do we have any tomatoes for my sandwich? Do we? <laughs> Just a few. All right, so I've got a lot going on in this kitchen. I am putting little slits in these peppers because I'm going to stick them in my dehydrator and I need the heat to go all the way down in there. So these shorter, fatter ones are paprika peppers. I'm getting a tray of those going. And then these are chili peppers that I'm going to make into ground up chili powder. Um, this is the first year we're trying to make some of our own spices and things too. So I got that going. I'm fixing to snap these green beans and do something with the cucumbers. I don't know what yet. I've washed the squash. 
I got a little bit of okra ready to freeze. I still got the um, broccoli and cauliflower over there. I got to figure out what I'm going to do with it. Probably going to just wash it and put it in a bag, get it trimmed up. Because some of this stuff, like, let me just tell you the best kept secret I've found lately. These green beans, if you just snap the blossom end off and keep them whole and drizzle them with just a tiny amount of olive oil, salt, pepper, and some garlic powder and put them in your air fryer for about 10 minutes, mmm, they're so good. And good for you, too. So I'm probably just going to snap those and get them ready to do that tonight. The editor is on the job. You doing a good job? Yep, been here for an hour and a half. Yeah, you have. <laughs> These videos are taking a while to patch all this footage together, aren't they? Oh, yeah. How's it going, though? It's going pretty good. Any tips or tricks to YouTube land? No. No? <laughs> all right, the kitchen is looking much better. Got a lot of things done and put up. I'm about to hot water bath can these tomatoes. You can see they're nice and bubbly. Got my jars here. I'm about to put a teaspoon of salt in each jar. I'm going to get that water heating in the hot water bath canner and I'm going to process these for 45 minutes. So once that gets to a bowl, like a pretty rolling bowl, but it doesn't have to just be as hard as it can boil. Like I call it a medium. Then I will start timing it. In the meantime, I got to do my part of the house cleaning. cool thing if you use these with the handle these measuring cups they will hang on the side like this between jars so it keeps a lot of the mess in your pot junk can accumulate on a floor when you take your shoes off when you come in and that's just one room all right I'm gonna be honest I'm a decent housekeeper the kids and I do the basics every single week vacuum clean our floors sweep them um, just pick up take all trashes out of all rooms let's go in here clean bathrooms. That happens every single week. And I try to clean my kitchen every single night. You can see I've already washed up all the canning dishes. I just, I like my kitchen to be cleaned up and straightened up. But then I have little areas like this. This has literally been sitting here since we harvested honey. That's just a little bit of honey left in that bucket that will be for us because it will have bubbles in it. Um, those are honey bottles. Those are two trays off my dehydrator. I get used to these little piles and then I don't do anything about those for like six months or something. And that is what drives Emily crazy because she's very, very clean and organized and I am not. Like just another example, there's a flower pot that's been there for like two years and there's nothing in it, just dirt. The aloe vera plant died a long time ago. So I really need to take a week and just deep clean this house. You can see this is my dining room. That's soap and lotion for us, my essential oils, honey that uh, we're getting ready to sell here locally. We are gonna sell some to y'all too um, in the plastic bottles, but it's gonna be on the next batch. Seeds, all that needs straightening. So you can see this room is decent. That's, that's my big O to-do list, by the way, but it could also use a little work. All right, y'all, I got a confession to make. I forgot to wrap this video up last night. So this is actually Friday morning, um, and we got up early. We are have our feeding and all our farm stuff done, and we are going on an adventure today. Yesterday, we got everything wrapped up we needed to do. House is put back in order. Farm stuff is completed for the week, for the most part. Uh, we did find a cow problem this morning, which I'll be telling you about next week. But for the most part, we wrapped up the farm stuff and we're heading on a trip today. So if you want to go along with us, tune back in tomorrow for the final day of day in the life. Uh, we will be wrapping this week up. 
we're taking y'all with us today. Gonna show you, I've already told you we're going to another YouTube channel's farm. And um, so we will take you with us and show you who that is and get to meet them. So come back tomorrow. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching and God bless.